All right, this is an electric hot water heater from Reliance. My owner's manual says that every three years you should be checking the sacrificial rod or the anode rod, which is in these tank hot water heaters. It acts as, just like the name says, a sacrificial rod. It rusts the rod first as opposed to rusting away the rest of the tank. So this is the top of it right here. So when I first went to do this, I didn't have the right size socket because it's a big, unusual one. So I had to buy it. And this is it. It's a one and one sixteenths. I think that's pretty standard across the board for these anode rods, but you should definitely check. Uh, just Google what your the model number of your hot water heater and see what the, the socket would be for the top. But that's it right there. I haven't done it in six years. Or who knows if it's ever been done. I think this water heater is like 10 years old. All right, that fits right on there. But I'm guessing it's not going to come off very easily because it's been never. Let's see if we can get this off. All right, that's moving the whole tank there. I don't want to break my plumbing. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. All right, I found a length of copper pipe. This is three quarter inch, and we're gonna use this for leverage. So I got lucky, this fits right over my socket wrench. So now we have a nice long handle on this baby. Let's see if we can uh, persuade this anode to come out. So I'm gonna hook that on there. Try not to break my plumbing. You guys can watch me struggle. Come on. Come on. Holy moly. There it goes. Oh. There it goes. That was on there. Got it loose. Okay, the big reveal. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty gross. As you can see, that's pretty well anodized, or however you want to say. I guess I've seen worse, though. Doing my research, I saw some that were pretty much down to nothing, if not nothing. So this thing's been pretty worked. It's been doing its job, attracting all those minerals and whatnot to keep the rust out of the tank. That's going to need replacing. So now that I have this out, I can see what I'm working with. And I'm going to go pick one up at the hardware store. And I'll check back in here. So here's the rod pulled out in a little better lighting. So you can see what it really looks like. It's pretty pitted. And on this side, you can see it looks pretty good. But then, you know, on this side... It definitely was getting more towards the core of it. From what I read in my manual, the manual says that um, uh, if it has exposed, if the uh, support wire is exposed, that's when you know you need to replace it. So I'm not that bad here. Uh, it also says that, what does it say? If the majority of the rod's diameter is less than 3 8 inches, which I'm not quite there. Well, maybe. I don't know. I probably could have got another year or two out of this, but... It's it's cheap enough and an easy enough job. Figuring I might as well, you know, just replace it. So here's the replacement I got. Um, it turns out my hardware store, they did not have anode rods in stock. Uh, so I got this one off Amazon. I prefer to shop at the local hardware store if I can, but 
Uh, this is what I got. So there are basically two choices when you get an anode rod, and I'm going to explain why these look like nunchucks in a minute. Um, you can get aluminum or magnesium. Um, as you can see here, I got the, the magnesium. From my research, it seems like magnesium is just a little better, lasts a little longer. Um, the, uh, the kind of deposits it throws off and drops into the bottom of the tank aren't as harsh, um, and they're a little safer for your, your family than the aluminum. So um, it wasn't that much more expensive, so I decided to go with it. This was, um, it was called Podoy is the company that sells it, I think, P-O-D-O-Y, and it was like a little over 20 bucks. So uh, it comes with Teflon tape here, which I'll show you how I'm gonna install this. I'll bring it over to the water heater and, and uh, we'll install this thing. So as it turned out, uh, when I brought this over to the hot water heater, it was actually a little bit long. And that's okay, that's the other nice thing about these nunchuck style ones is that I was just able to snip this last one off right here. And now it'll it's plenty short to be plunged all the way in here without hitting the bottom of the water heater. So the reason they make them nunchuck style like this is uh, so that if you're in a tight space, if there was a ceiling right here, or if it's in a closet and you have a really low ceiling, you can, you can kind of put this in one section at a time. So while that wasn't necessary for me here, uh, it's why they make a lot of these anode rods uh, in these in these sections like this. So all we have to do to install this thing, so it, like I said, it comes with this Teflon tape. Just gotta throw some on. and drop it in. So I could hit, I could feel it hitting the, this is an electric hot water heater, I could feel it touching the elements in there, which the elements go in the side of the tank uh, they're horizontal across the tank. That's what actually heats up the water. So I could feel them hitting that. So you just got to wiggle it until it gets past them. And then uh, you just tighten it down. I'm not going to go too tight. The last one was definitely super tight. So three years from now when I go to inspect this, I think I'll be happy with myself that I didn't over tighten it. But let's turn the water back on and make sure that it's not leaking. My water shut off is just right over here. So just turn that back on. And that'll, that'll repressurize the tank. No leaks, so we're all good. So overall, this is a easy job. My manual recommend checking every three years. I bought this house six years ago, and that was the first time I had looked at it. So overall, for being there for six years, and who, know, who knows how long it was replaced before that. So it was in pretty good shape, but um, we have good well water here. It's not, it's not extra soft or extra hard or anything, so I think that helped preserve it. Um, but from now on, it's... Something I'll check on every three years and when it needs it, uh, do the, the quick and easy replace.